I hate spending money on shit that is not worth it. I hate inefficiencies. I hate wasting stuff. So everything in this episode of my favorite stuff has the requirement that I would repurchase it again with my own money, no matter what. And in fact, have and probably will multiple times. Welcome back to Too Smart For This. I'm your host, Alexis Barber, and I am a very, very ambitious material girl. I love stuff, I love shopping, I love consumerism, and I love looking good and feeling good. So in this week's episode of Too Smart For This, I'm gonna share with you my favorite items across all categories from 2023. These are things I just love. I love watching these videos. I love getting ideas for what I can add to my life that might make it better. I love being a material girl. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. This video is not for you. This episode is not for you. Let's get into my favorites of 2023. I consider myself someone who's pretty picky. Uh, So here we go. I'm going to break this down into categories. Okay. Yeah. To make it easier. Let's get into it. So if you don't know a lot about me, my name is Alexis Barber. I am 25. I live in Philadelphia where I go to the Wharton School. I'm a Wharton MBA. So this year I became a student. So that definitely influenced the things that I like. I also started going out more because I'm a student in an MBA program. If you want to know more about my experience at Wharton, there are other episodes you can check out. And I also post weekly vlogs about that. And overall, like I don't want to say that you have to buy any of this stuff and it might not even work for you, but I like sharing my favorite things because it's so helpful for me to get inspiration from other people. I also just like get asked questions about my favorite makeup, my favorite hair stuff, my favorite home stuff all the time. So I wanted to put it all in one place that you all can reference my favorite products all the time. That way we can all live in peace and harmony together. I have 11 categories here and I really just wanted to stick to the top two to four items in each category. I don't wanna be like, here's my favorite skincare and it's like my entire routine. Like, no, I wanna show you the things that entered my routine this year that I think are really gonna stay for the long term and share that with you as opposed to just being super, super crazy about it all. Also health-wise, I'm doing a whole separate episode about hormone health, my personal health journey. And so all of that is going to be a separate episode. So make sure you stay tuned for that and like and subscribe so that you don't miss it. All right, let's start with skincare. So these are the three all-stars in my skincare routine this year. So the first is this Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. This is something that just really hydrates my skin and I love putting it on every morning because it gives me a really dewy look. Glass skin is obviously the ideal for everybody. So this is just such a great product. And I think this was gifted to me, but I have repurchased it. And it's something that you can do morning and night. And this is something that I always take with me because hydration is so important. So it's a big thing in my travel routine. The next two are Summer Fridays products. If you all have followed me for a long time, you know that Mariana Hewitt is like my favorite influencer ever. And I've been using Summer Friday since it came out in like, I don't even know, like 2017, 2018. And this year they released their second like moisturizer, I guess. Like it's called the Rich Cushion Cream. And it's literally empty because I use it every day. And I use it morning and night. It is the, it's like a rich moisturizer. And they have the jet lag mask, obviously, which I've used to death and purchased for everyone I know. But this one is more of just like a typical moisturizer. I like to use it in the morning in combination with the Summer Fridays uh, Mineral Milk Sunscreen. It's SPF 30. These combine really well together. I really like that. And it's super lightweight and really like goes well under makeup. So these two combinations like this for moisturizing and this for sun protection have been my go-tos this year. They're both pretty much empty. I've repurchased multiple times and will continue to. So when it comes to skincare, my biggest concern is uh, acne scarring and moisture. So these really help with moisture. And in 2024, I'm really hoping to work on like elasticity and acne scarring. I told you one of my goals for 2024 is like to be really into skincare. So maybe you will have better contenders at the end of next year. Moving straight along into makeup, I have four things that entered my rotation that I'm obsessed with in 2023. So the first is the Refi Beauty Brow Gel. So I love this brow gel. Most of my brow stuff that I've purchased, the expensive brow stuff doesn't work for me. So I would only use Got To Be Gel on my brows, but until I discovered this product, Basically, it is this clear brow sculpt gel that you just apply and then you can like 
fashion your brows with it. And it's the only thing that holds my brows in place all day slash night. Like I've tried every other brow gel. I have super unruly brows and this one really works. I have bought it like five times this year. The next is the Refi Beauty Lip Sculpt in the shade Fawn. Now I'll tell you something. The packaging on this is absolutely horrific. I've had to buy so many just because the packaging doesn't work, but I have not found another formula and color that suits me as much as this one does. So I absolutely love it, but if they could get the packaging, maybe it's just like my Sephora, I don't know. It's just really terrible, but it always just comes out like some somehow it just like breaks like all the time, which sucks, but the color and the formula is so great. I have it on right now. It's amazing. Next up is the Amicole Lip Oil. So I've talked about this so many times. Amicole is a black owned brand and they are just such incredible formulas. I know the founder. She's incredible and she launched this brand and in Sephora and did it all herself while she was like had a baby, which is insane. Like she's also so gracious and kind. So I just absolutely love her. And these lip oils, I can't leave the house without them. Like it's sick. I'm obsessed. I use them so much that I run out pretty frequently. But my favorite one is the color Excellence. I have it on right now too. This combo of the Refi Beauty um, Fawn and this Excellence is so good on my skin tone. I love this consistency. It's just glossy and beautiful. I would gift this to you a million times. It's so good. Finally is, I don't have it over here, but I'm kind of wearing it so you can see, is the Dior Rosewood Blush. So I wasn't really into blush before this year, but became super popular on social media. So I tried it out. And I randomly was like at Sephora and decided to try the Dior blushes out because they're just pretty packaging. And the rosewood color is my color. My friends look at me and they're like, that's your color. You don't need any other blush a day in your life. It is such a beautiful color, pays off really well. And the packaging is just so elite, like love her down 100%. So those are my four makeup products that are now holy grail products for me. Sticking with beauty stuff, let's get into body and fragrance. So. When it comes to body, the Way St. Barth scent is the only body cleanser. This is literally empty. The only body cleanser I use. This is just such a, a luxurious scent. And I thought I would only use it for like the summertime because it's more of like a summery scent. But I actually just like have become accustomed to it. It just sort of makes me feel like clean. And I combine it with the Way St. Barth body cream. I just love this scent so, so much. And it also layers pretty well with like my other fragrances and stuff like that. And the packaging is just stunning. Like it's just something you want to have out in your shower. It's also just really high quality. Um, it's made from great ingredients. Way just like they do the damn thing every single time. And so I love using these. Uh, I hope they come out with more scents in the future because I just really love these scents so much. But this is great. Makes you feel clean, makes you feel luxurious. And it's a great gift. Like it's something I think buying expensive body products is kind of hard for us sometimes mentally because you're like i don't want to use it it's expensive but it's a great gift to give someone if you like want to like elevate their little shower routine too next when it comes to fragrance i think that my top fragrance this year was ysl black opium um and this for me like i don't really love the bottle i kind of think it's kind of ugly but the scent it is like a sweet but sexy scent and this is sort of my scent for business school for feeling confident and also like beautiful. I think that this, so YSL perfumes were the first perfumes I ever got. They are some of my favorites. The Mon Paris, I love so much. It's very feminine and delicate. The Libre, I don't love Libre, but I love Libre Intense. That one feels like very strong to me. And then this one has sort of become sort of my like balance of that, that sweet and also that strong and sexy. That's more of like a vanilla undertone and I really, really love it. And this, I've told you guys before, my strategy with scents is that I actually have a different scent for every like phase of my life or different like times in my life. So I like to use certain perfumes for going out with friends or for meeting new friends or for when I need to be in the mood to work or for when I'm going into an important business meeting um, or for when I'm going on like newly a date. So I have different scents for that. So that way it sort of just like reminds me of those feelings. And so this one is what reminds me most of like my time in, at Wharton to start off. And it also just helps me feel the most like confident. I get tons of compliments on it. The runner up to this scent would be the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume. Um, I was gifted that one and I love that scent so much. I have it in a little roller bowl. I don't have the full size, 
but I do have it in like the home sense, which we'll get into later. But I got a compliment every single time that I wore Lake and Sky 1111. So absolutely. And it's a really affordable scent too. So I really love it. I also really got into Sol de Janeiro scents this year. I feel like they are so fun and flirty. Like in the summer, I love just throwing on that, a ton of that, like their original body spray. They came out with their after hours one too. And I travel with them a lot because they're plastic bottles and they're easy to take with you. The after hours one is so perfect. I mix that with my KLE uh, or my Kali vanilla every night when I go out. That's sort of like my going out scent. And it smells so amazing and so sexy. All right, let's get into hair. So I had my hair in braids for like a third of this year, basically. And the rest of it, I was just really over my curls. I was really over it. So I just liked doing like straight hair. So I really got into learning how to perfect my own blowouts and how to do my hair the best for me. I just sort of like explored hair a lot more this year. So let's get into the, some of the things that really helped me. The first is another whey product. It is the detox shampoo. Uh, I always thought that whey hair products were just for white people, but I was incorrect. They actually are for all hair types. And I really love the detox shampoo because I feel like it really is cleaning my scalp. And so when I'm doing a blowout where I maybe am blow drying my hair every one to two weeks, or when I have braids and I've just got, taken them out, this is what helps me feel like my hair is the most clean. And I haven't, I feel like the, a lot of the like curly girl uh, hair products are really focused on like moisture. So they don't necessarily fit this like detox era. So I really, really like this because it helps my hair feel really clean, um, but doesn't strip it completely. Now, when I am doing my blowouts, um, I have like experimented with so many different products and I shared in my most recent not my most recent, in a vlog recently, how I do my entire blowouts. And I'll share that on TikTok with you as well. But something I really love adding to Beat Frizz is the Color Wow Wow Extra Strength Dream Coat. So I got this and I sort of added this to my routine. And I really think it does help support the frizz problem that I have. I haven't dealt with a ton of frizz and I obviously want to try it more in the humidity when it gets super hot out. But I find that this is really, really effective and super helpful at beating frizz. And it also, I mean, makes it look a little bit more glassy and smooth. Two other things are this dry bar, like multi-use multi little hair curler. So this comes with four different attachments. I don't know why I don't have the other ones here, but it has a crimper, it has a smaller, and then it has a bigger rod. And I thought this was just like the most effective thing for me when I was buying like hair tools because it has access to every single one of them. And I really like doing like the crimper waver look. I, if I do need to like really curl my hair, this barrel is like the perfect size. So I found it was just the most effective thing and it's really high quality. I also have the dry bar blow dryer, which I love. And I go to dry bar pretty frequently. So I know they have great quality products. So this one was amazing. And then the final hair thing is going to be my hair wax sticks. I know these came out last year and I might have mentioned them in my favorite as favorites then too, but these are just really good for your hair and not stripping your hair of any moisture. So this slick back ponytail I have up right now is so annoying most of the time, but in reality, like it's so good for just like slicking down baby hairs and it's small enough that you could throw it in your purse and have it with you all the time. So I love the hair wax sticks. I feel like they're super helpful for honestly, like just managing straighter hair. And I feel like if you, if I have curly hair, I obviously would use like gel or something like that, but you don't want to put a ton of product in your hair when it's straight. So I really love using the hair wax sticks. Okay. Now let's jump into my favorite home products. I'm a home girly. Okay. I think you guys have seen my apartment. You know how much I love my apartment and curating a nice home vibe is so important to me to my mental health and to my peace and to my space so these things i'm going to share with you are literally the like i have so many in this category because all these things are so important to me first is as i mentioned earlier i love the lake and sky 1111 scent so much and they sent me their 1111 reed diffuser and i use it in my new apartment because i wanted it to like have a scent like a classic scent but the thing i love about this is it is so strong and powerful so I bought three more and I have them all over my apartment. They're so amazing and they're so good. Like I've had these for months and they like haven't run out. Like they're really high quality and they give your home like just a sort of a natural scent so that you don't have to constantly like light a candle or something like that. And it just 
oh, it's so good. So reed diffusers are just such a good hack because they're just smarter in my opinion. And then the next is my Nespresso machine. I told you guys before, like I used to hate my Nespresso machine. I had like a different model like three years ago and I hated it because like it didn't work out well for me. And then this year I bought a new one when I moved into my apartment on Prime Day and I like fell in love with it. And I love that I can make lattes at home, I can make iced coffee, I can make my classic black coffee that I like having in the morning. I have some right here, like so amazing and they're so delicious and I feel like it just like, tastes like really high quality and it feels really elevated and adds to your morning. So if you want one, I think until December 31st, I have a code for 20% off a Nespresso if you want one. The code is 20 Alexis. It's so worth it. I find it makes me not want to go out and buy coffee as much, which is super good for my wallet. Um, and it's really fun to choose from all the different pods that they have. So I love Nespresso and I highly recommend it just to like elevate your morning routine. Next up is my Dyson 2-in-1 fan slash air purifier. So this was something I bought like secondhand a couple years ago. And it's one of the best purchases I've ever made because it is a fan but it's also a heater and it's also an air purifier so it does all the things you would need in one and it also looks just like really chic and so this is something that I would invest in if you ever see like a sale coming up or if you want to get it for yourself for Christmas it is such a good product and I genuinely 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 can't live without it I have it on every night when I go to sleep um, when I get like hot, sometimes I get really cold in my apartment and I'll turn the heater up it works so well it's lasted years. I mean, mine is second hand and I've had it for two or three years. And I also like, and like they had it before me, you know what I mean? So it's a really good product and it's high quality and it does exactly what it needs to do. And so it's something I just want to like put out there. I don't talk about it often. I'm not posting it on my stories, but it's such a good product, especially if you're moving into a new home. And the air purifier part is important. I mean, we've been seeing the terrible air pollution that we have going on in this country. So if you live in a city with like bad air, It'll also just give you like that peace of mind in your home as well. I think the theme of this is sort of that how much scents are so impactful to my life as well as my home. The 1111 is everywhere and something that's really complimentary to my 1111 is this Way X Dead Cool Melrose Place laundry detergent. So I have really sensitive skin guys. So I can only use certain laundry detergents otherwise I will break out. So I typically for my clothes I use all free and clear for my clothes. But then Way sent this to me over the summer and I was like, OMG, like, let me try it out. Um, let me see if it like works with my skin. And it did, thank God. And now I wash all of my sheets, blankets, and my towels in this. So all my like linens in my home are this Way Dead Cool scent. And I think it's just so nice to have like a classic scent in my home. Like it's sort of like what things smell like in here. And it smells so amazing and it's made with very, very clean ingredients, which I love. And that's what's important to me, obviously, as someone who has really terrible, terrible um, eczema and stuff like that. So I really love this. It's sort of like a signature scent. It's gentle and I really love it. So I would totally get this as a gift for someone if you don't know what to get them. And I would absolutely purchase it for yourself just to elevate your home. I love her so much. My final little home favorite are these Byredo soap and lotion combinations. So this is an absolutely sick and twisted amount of money. I think each one is like $60, which is insane. But I bought this Byredo soap in July when I moved in here, and it's still not gone all the way, which is insane. Um, I absolutely love Byredo scents. They are so, so, so potent and delicate. And I really love the way that they turn out and the way that these look on the counter is unmatched. I get compliments from everyone who comes over. They're like, oh my God, this soap is dope. You can tell whoever got coming over. And they're like, it's, it's so cool. And so I think it's absolutely worth, I don't know if it's absolutely, it's worth the money to me because I spent the money and I'm enjoying it. Of course, it's an egregious thing to buy, but it's absolutely incredible quality. So I'd highly recommend these Byredo soaps. So adorable. And the way they look on your counter, like, I think it's worth it. Like, I think a lot of things are not worth it, but these are absolutely worth it. All right. For the fashion girlies, let's get into my fashion favorites of the year. So it's hard for me to come up with fashion favorites because honestly, like, the year was so crazy. 
But when I'm looking back on the things that I loved the most this year, I sort of have like four or five that I really stuck with that I used consistently throughout the year and that I reached for often. The first is my Lululemon obsession. You guys know how much I love Lululemon, but the product that I love the most are the Align Mini Flares. I got these in maybe June, July, and I swear I've worn them at least twice a week since. They are so flattering and comfortable. They look really put together and chic, and they just make your body feel amazing. And I wear them when I travel. I wear them to the gym. I wear them to school. I love pairing them with Uggs or with a sneaker. And in the summer, I would wear them with just a tank top. In the winter, they look great with my super puff. I wear them so often. If you have to buy one thing from Lululemon, I think it should be the mini flares. Like, they are so good. Moving on, I love Monday swimwear for swimsuits. I've always been pretty insecure in my body in a swimsuit and this year as I like went through all my health changes I started to feel a little bit better in swimsuits but I still found everything I would order from like Amazon or wherever all the other girlies are ordering their swimsuits from I just didn't really love how I felt or looked there was always something weird about it and I had had I had had Monday swimwear gifted to me in like 2021 and those made me feel so good in my body when I bought them then So I was like, hold on, let me try this again. And I have bought, I think, six swimsuits from them this year. And those have been the ones I've reached for the absolute most. Something about the way that they're cut is so incredibly beautiful. And I always thought it was absolutely insane to be spending hundreds of dollars on swimsuits. But if you can afford it, I find that they make me feel so confident and no other swimsuit brand has been able to do that for me. So I really love Monday Swim. Um, I would definitely think I say that like, and also like, it's not that I've, it's not like I've worn it once and then like never worn it again. Each one I've worn multiple times, I've styled in different ways and they have, they're great quality and they fit really, really well. And I think that I tried to like lean towards more classic prints and stuff like that. And I just love every single one of them. So I had to give them a shout out because in this like season of going out a lot or traveling a lot and like having different swimsuits, it, they've made me feel so confident. So highly recommend. The other brand that I'm obsessed with that I've worn pr- probably like 50% of my days this year is a Goldie jeans. So I found when I was shopping for jeans, I would usually go to like Abercrombie or Zara or something like that. And they just wouldn't hold up in quality super well or they would like change or they would frill or they would pill. I don't really know. But I found when I was focusing on true denim at a Goldie one, I tried a ton of different denim from Revolve, like the girlfriend, all this other stuff, a Goldie, the best 100%. So I have the, my current rotation is I love their low rise pinch jeans. They, I wore, they wear those 24 seven. And then I also love their um, high rise, like, Lana jean. I've loved these since like 2020 when I first got them in like a rent the runway package. And then I've bought them for myself consistently since then. And they are expensive, but on a cost per wear basis, you, I swear to God, ever since I got those low rise jeans, I have worn them at least twice a week since. Like they're such a good quality and I find that like they hold up really well. What I would say is size down one, because as much as they're tight the first time you get them, they really do loosen up. So I would really recommend you loosen that you get them and then you like sort of loosen up there. But they're just like the best quality, I would say, jean out there. Like I don't know if I even want to shop other brands. Um, Although I will give a special shout out to Everlane on the jeans front because I have their black jeans and I really like them. If you want jeans that have a little bit more of a stretch, I would go to Everlane. But I'm kind of like, uh, unless I want something sort of trendy, I kind of want to avoid going to Abercrombie and Zara because I just don't feel like they're quality holds up as well. Um, I think it's something about not using like true denim, um, whereas a Goldie is using like high quality real denim. Don't hold me to that though. I might change my mind. I do love me Abercrombie. I haven't shot on Abercrombie in a little bit. Maybe I should go check them back out. Okay, next brand I'm obsessed with, you probably already know what it is because it's all I wear on Instagram, House of CB. So as I was going through a sort of like a body transformation this year, to be honest with you, I really wanted to feel confident in my outfits and I stumbled upon how I mean I knew of House of CB and I had always ordered their stuff and then I felt like it didn't fit me or didn't look good on me um and so when I I ended up like trying stuff on for real in their Nordstrom area in New York 
And I found these dresses that just felt so perfect on me. And now that I like know sort of how to navigate the site and what really works for me, I invest in these pieces and it makes me feel so beautiful. I mean, the black dress and the red dress that I wore to the galas earlier this month in December, I just felt so perfect in them. They're the perfect mix of like sexy but sweet and so like well designed. They snatch you in and it's a high quality piece that is just stunning. So highly recommend that trying out House of CB for any upcoming like events and stuff you have. I also am going to be renting out my House of CB pieces on By Rotation, which is a clothing rental app. So let's say you have something coming up, but you don't want to drop $300 on a dress. You can rent it from me or from my closet on By Rotation for like $20 a day. You just pay for shipping and then you have like that outfit for a perfect day. So I really love House of CB and of course it's a great opportunity to try out by rotation too. Finally on the clothing front, I got into skims this year. Not skims like the loungewear, but actually the bras. So I've always struggled with bras and like hate wearing bras. You guys know I wear those pasties every single day, but I started to like be like, okay, there are some shirts that pasties don't look good in. I want like a little bit of oomph. Um, I have pretty small boobs, like I want my boobs to look good. So I got the Skims wireless push-up bra and I love it. It is super seamless because it doesn't have any wires in it. So it feels really like comfortable, like a cloud. It also doesn't like show up super crazy on like underneath shirts, which I really love. So I would definitely say it's like a good, I've worn that bra literally every day. I'm gonna get it in different colors. It's so good. The quality on that one is amazing. And I've got Skims underwear too. I like it, but I just don't love like the lines on it. So I stick with my Victoria's Secret like seamless um, underwear for the most part. I'm probably the only woman who's still shopping at Victoria's Secret for underwear, but I love the five for 27 or whatever. I get the seamless underline, the seamless thongs. I just get them in nude and black. And then I get the high rise brief like for my granny panties. Those are my faves. Love you. Now, accessories. So accessories time hold on let me grab these glasses because i want to show you how freaking cute they are when it comes to accessories like there's a couple things that i just loved this year the first are my blue light glasses these are my amazon blue light glasses they are between 10 and 15 dollars the flight price fluctuates but they have blue light protection and they come in tons of different colors so i have the tortoiseshell ones and then you also can get them in black and stuff like that and I really just feel that this elevates my look and I really like having them on in class and at school or in business meetings because I just feel like it makes me look smarter to have glasses on. Duh. Um, I have really bad eyesight generally. So I'm always wearing contacts because my glasses, my like prescription glasses, I don't feel like they match every outfit, but I always want to protect my eyes from blue light. So I really like having these because they, I feel like they're actually doing something and because they're just a great little accessory to like make my outfit look better. So I love glasses and I love experimenting with them. And these are really affordable ways to like just make your look look a little bit better. Now for the less affordable things that I purchased, before I went to Europe this summer, I got this Bottega Jody bag in the, I think it's the small size or maybe it's the teen size, I don't know. But it is one of my best purchases ever. The reason I justified the Bottega bag is the following. First of all, this, like pattern Bottega like Bottega is a classic and iconic brand so this is going to look good no matter what for years to come you could definitely get the dupe version of it 100% but I don't know I wanted to splurge and treat myself so that's why I got this one and for me it's been one of my most used bags because I can travel with it so when I'm traveling um and I have like exploring during the daytime when I'm traveling I like having a bag that's clearly designer because it just, as a black woman, it's hard when you don't have designer to be taken seriously in places. I don't know if anyone's ever said that out loud, but I am. And also I wanted something that could fit a lot because I would often be carrying like a water bottle, my passport, my wallet, my vlog camera, things to touch up. So this is perfect because it's so versatile. I could wear it to the beach. I could wear it on like when I was in South Africa, every day I had it and because it's black and like, it just like genuinely fits with pretty much everything in my closet. And also it does fit a laptop pretty like not super spaciously, but since it goes over your shoulder, I would also take it if I like had meetings and I was going into the city for the day, 
it did fit everything I needed, even though it wasn't super comfortable. So I would definitely say this was a good purchase of mine. I don't think it's going to be super in style for like the rest of time. So I don't know if like right now I would buy it again. I don't even know if it's still available, but I would say it's one of my best purchases and had to give it its little shout out. And then for the rest of my accessories, when it comes to like jewelry, when it comes to my earrings and like stuff like that, I really stick with Amazon for most of it. But I feel like for me, I like put everything in my Amazon like storefront that has all my stuff. I've had a ton of great jewelry partnerships this year with James Allen, which are really great for getting those basic like diamond pieces. And I, this my like tennis bracelet is from them. And then Mejuri, which is great for those high quality but trendy pieces, which I absolutely love. They're just a very good like go to trendy jewelry place. And so I would say jewelry has been something that really I think has elevated my look this year. The favorite thing I like to do with jewelry is actually mix and match tones. So I have like a white gold tennis bracelet on, but I have gold earrings in and I have a gold necklace on, but I have a white gold like thing that I'm playing with. And then my rings are both white gold and gold gold. And my watch, when I invested in this watch, I really wanted to get the two tone version instead of the classic um, white gold version because I really love how it looks to just mix metals. I think it looks elevated if you do it on a good in a good way. So I would definitely say if you are someone who wants to like elevate their everyday basic casual looks, I would invest in jewelry and I would start by trying out different Amazon pieces and mixing and matching those metals because I think it really does elevate the look. Okay, let's let's finish up with the product stuff while I tell you about my travel favorites. Let me grab them all. I don't know if this is the best idea, but if you are watching the video, you can see my Away suitcases. I purchased this Away um, roller right before my South Africa trip. And here's why, okay? First of all, I've had CalPAC suitcases and I've had base suitcases. My CalPAC one broke within a year. My base one, like the inside was starting to rip. It was getting messed up. There were like problems with the handle after about a year. Those are both priced at around $170 to $225. And so I knew that like that's sort of like the quality I was asking for, unfortunately. And then I was like, maybe I should just invest in a Ramoa, which is a really expensive like one to two thousand dollar suitcase. But I used my ex-boyfriend's Ramoa while we were in Europe all summer. And it's way too small and it definitely like is very smooth to travel with. But then because it's so expensive, he was constantly worried about it getting scratched or something like that. Um, and uh, th as you guys know, like the quality is not like it still breaks sometimes. You know what I mean? So I started looking around and seeing everybody, all my friends at business school, etc., were using Away. And so I asked them all about their experiences with Away. Did they like it? And they were like, yes, because not only is it like super high quality, but it also has a warranty. So if it breaks, gets scratched, gets messed up, they'll replace it for you which is sort of like why you would get a Ramoa in the first place, because if it broke for life, you have a lifetime warranty. So that's when I decided to get the Away bag um, after I like got rid of my base and all that stuff because they just weren't working for me. And I've loved it ever since. And shortly after that, Away approached me and we did a partnership where I got, and from there I got the bigger bag. And so I really love them. I think they're super high quality. They fit everything, perfect size, chic in the airport very well done they definitely scratch like and i have like the glossy version so it scratches but that doesn't really bother me because it's just like the most seamless thing i've had so far for travel on top of that i've been using my lululemon city adventurer duffel bag for my like overnight slash personal item it has a bottom like area where you can put your shoes it has an area for your laptop and two pockets where you can easily access things like your wallet and your passport and then a big middle area where I put things like my travel pillow, my pouches, my books and stuff like that. And I also and I really love it the most because it's waterproof. So um, if you like spill or something like on a plane or you it gets scratched or you're outside, like you're not going to like die. You know what I mean? So I didn't like bringing like leather bags and stuff because, you know, you never know what could happen. This fits so much. There's multiple straps. And what I do is I typically put it under the seat in front of me. And then because it's like literally nylon, I put my feet on top of it um, and sleep like that because it helps you like, cause you want to have your feet elevated when you're on the plane. So love that. 
I also love my Stony Clover pouches. They sent a few to me this year and they just simply are the best quality. They fit so much. Also can get waterproof ones. I've used them with everything. And so those are my favorite. The zippers are really high quality too. So love them down. Of course, when I travel, I always bring my mini white noise machine too. That's my major favorite. And then you can see all my other travel favorites. I feel like I don't want to like get super into this because I could do a whole travel video, to be honest with you. So finally, I want to get into my favorite books and um, TV shows, like my favorite content that I consumed this year. Um, and then we'll end on my miscellaneous favorites. So my favorite books this year, I have two that really resonated with me. I didn't read as much this year as I think I have in the past because I was at school for so much of the year. But the first one is The Perfectionist Guide to Losing Control. If you're someone who struggles with perfectionism, if you're someone who struggles with uh, just feeling like you're never good enough, this book will validate you so much and give you tangible skills for how to really change your life. It is such a great book and I love, love, love the approaches that are mentioned in it and I just can't recommend it enough. The second one I just finished and I feel like is really shaping my 2024 mindset and it's called The Mountain Is You and it's all about why we self-sabotage and why we like to stay in victim mindsets and how to get out of that and really transform your life once and for all and I really like the way that it helps you take accountability for your life while understanding why you may have like made bad choices in the past and helps you really dig into ways to shift your identity. So those are my two favorite books of the year. And when it comes to my favorite TV shows and content outside of The Real Housewives, which this year I think my favorite franchises were Miami and Beverly Hills. Potomac just didn't do it for me. It was so dramatic. Um, I got into Vanderpump Rules this year. I got in right before Scandal happened and I feel so lucky for that because then I got to really see the vibes when it was happening. I loved The Bear and The Crown for my favorite like TV shows of the year. Um, I obviously love Formula One, so I loved watching Drive to Survive, but The Bear was such a good show and was very great at capturing the essence of human emotion, I think, through like the plot. So I didn't think I would like it, but I loved it so much. I also love Only Murders in the Building. Um, and there's so many other shows I want to get into, but I just didn't really have time. All right, my final miscellaneous favorite, the things that I could not live without this year are the Superhuman app. Duh, I love the Superhuman app. I use it every day. Um, I also love the Chani app. Those are my two favorite apps. The Chani app is like horoscope and astrology. So if you like astrology at all, it's like the best. Don't listen to astrology from anywhere else except Chani. They have a weekly reading, like tells you what to expect that week. And then it breaks down your birth chart for you really easily, which is helpful. And then there's also a, like every year they will tell you what to expect for the year. Every day they give you a little horoscope and like they send you push notifications about what's going on. And I just really like it. The Superhuman app has walking meditations that I do pretty much every day. Um, they're about like your potential, like visualizing your dream life or coming back to yourself. And there's also little pep talks on there, which are really helpful for me when I'm like in a bad place mentally and I need like two minutes to just like reset. Um, so those are two apps that I think are like worth the money that I really love. And I think that that might be it. So I have so many other products that I loved and enjoyed this year, but this episode is getting kind of long. So I'll leave it at that. If you have any other things or items that you're curious about that you've seen me mention before, just ask me down below um, or over DM what my thoughts are on them and I'm happy to provide a full review that is my job as an influencer and with that being said I can't wait for 2024 we have so much great fun coming up and I cannot wait for every opportunity and all the fun products that we get to learn about in 2024 so with that being said I'll catch you in the next episode and don't forget you are too smart to not love yourself